Hello, welcome to Marshall's Coffee Shop here in Yardley. We're here as guests of the managers, Dave and Matt. This is our very first virtual arts cafe. The Virtual Arts Café is part of the Building Community Together project. The Virtual Arts Café has a project that is going to be focusing in and around the Acox Green area of Birmingham and specifically targeting the Stockfield Estate. So if you live in that area, this project is just for you. now going to hand over to Nicola Toms who's part of Arts in the Yard and she's going to explain to us a little bit more about the project. Nicola, over to you. Hello, welcome to the first edition of our Virtual Arts Café. Stockfield Community Association, along with partners Birmingham Playcare Network and Arts in the Yard, have been working across Acox Green for several years. Together we have delivered tea dances, play in park sessions, heritage sessions in care homes, sports sessions for young people and a whole host of community events. Last year, we were awarded a Reaching Communities grant from the Community Lottery Fund to work in partnership on a project called building community together. This five year project focuses on realising the aspirations of residents, not just on the Stockfield estate, but in the wider Acox Green area. Myself and the wildlife at Westley Vale Millennium Green are really excited to share the project elements with you over the coming months. Arts in the Yard had planned a monthly community get together, an arts cafe similar to events in other parts of Birmingham and we were due to launch at Easter 2020, but COVID-19 had other ideas. Instead, we have been working with residents on a home gardening project. Hello, my name's Gary. I'm from Inspired Steps Community Interest Company, and I'm here today at Oasis Hubmore Community Centre as part of the Arts in the Yard Building Communities Together programme. We're going to be delivering vegetable and flower packs out in the community. You'll hear more from me later. Right, I'm off to do my deliveries now. More on that later. And now we are able to launch our monthly arts cafe in a slightly different virtual format. Although we can't come together as a community at the moment, we hope you will be inspired and get involved in activities at home and in your neighbourhood in other ways. And we hope you enjoy the show. Along with Nicola, Emma and Daphne are also part of this project. So we'll be hearing a little bit from them throughout the show. We're now going to hand over to Charlie, who's going to tell us how she's found the Green Growers Project. Hi, I'm Charlie. Um, I'm lucky enough to have been part of the Green Growers Project. I live in Acox Green and I received a vegetable pack and a flower pack to grow from scratch at the beginning of lockdown. I found it really, really beneficial and really helpful. Um, I just lost my cat of 20 years and had to have him put to sleep and I was feeling a bit sad and it gave me a reason to come out into the garden every morning, uh, check on my plants which um, I didn't think I'd be able to grow at first. I didn't have any beds or anywhere to plant them. And my partner 
kindly offered to build me some planters, even though he doesn't know how to do that either. So we were learning from scratch in, in every way. Um, there was a few mistakes made, but um, we seem to have got there. And I've, I'm reaping the rewards now and I'm getting to enjoy the flowers and the vegetables. We've been eating a lot of kale, a lot of lettuce. Um, and it's just a really pretty to look out in the mornings and, and see all the beautiful flowers. In my pack, I received uh, cabbages, which are coming along really nicely. I'm having to battle with the butterflies, the cabbage whites, funnily enough. Um, I made a makeshift cover for them with mesh and some bamboo that was growing in my garden. So I'm waiting for those to be ready to pick. Um, and then we've got some lettuce, which we've already started eating because it's pick as you go kind of lettuce which means you can take take pieces off and have some for lunch and then some will grow back the next time I've got lots of carrots as well they're going to be ready in September hopefully and then we've been eating the kale as we've gone along as well um, lots of chard I hadn't really eaten chard before and I didn't really know what to do with it so we've been looking at recipes for that and we've made a few different dishes including chard one with halloumi that was really nice and then I've got a massive <laughs> red cabbage, but I'm not sure what to do with yet. So I think I need to learn how to pickle. I think that's the next stage. And this is my favorite view of the garden. It's the view from my kitchen window. So when I boil the kettle in the morning to make my cup of coffee, I get to look at all the beautiful flowers and I'm very grateful for the Green Growers Project. <laughs>
uh, this can be cotton or you can even use a paper clip just fold it round open the paper clip up and just fold, fold it around the middle now what you want to do is just fan fan the fan it out as if it's a fan so as you can see just like it's joined at each end just so you can position that elastic band correctly in the center now what we're going to do with this one before we open it out we're just going to cut the ends so to make your edges for your petals so if you try and do that equally on both sides well it doesn't matter if you're slightly out Now for the next part, you want to fan it back out again. And then you want to separate each individual piece of the serviette, so what you folded out earlier. And keep doing that until the whole thing is, is fluffed out. Every se single layer you want to separate out. This can be a little bit tricky, so little ones may need a little bit of help. And then if you make a little bit of, if you rip the paper, it's nothing to worry about. You'll just, just pull that off or use a pair of scissors at the end just to cut it. But you'll just need to keep going until they're all separated. I find using two hands is helpful. Once you get to the end of it, just if you pinch the bottom underneath as if you're holding the base of your flower and then just pull all the extra bits off. And there you have it, there's your flower. Now for the next part, we'll need to make the stem. Now you can use this with a piece of newspaper, magazine, and all you need to do is get, use something thin like a skewer stick or a cocktail stick just to start getting your edges folded. And then you'll just need to roll the edges from the corner until you have a really tightly rolled stem. It can be a little bit tricky, but it's to, more to do with just taking your time and rolling it steadily. When you get to the end, you'll just need to pop a little bit of sellotape over the edge and then remove your skewer stick if that's what you've chose to use to roll. So now to fix the two pieces together, you'll just find a little gap in your flower and then thread it through until it comes out of the centre of your flower. And then just fold that back over, place a bit of sellotape in there. To secure it and you're done. And there we have it. There is your first homemade flower using items within the home. For future sessions, we will be 
continuing to make further flowers and completing it with a vase. That's it for this session. But for, for next, next sessions, we're going to be creating different types of paper flowers. And then we'll be finishing it off by creating a vase so that you can display your wonderful flowers in. See you next time. Bye bye. So I've moved over here to Wesley Vale Park. Thank you, Charlie, for your gardening stories. And soon we're going to be hearing from Banu with a love poem. In future shows, we'll meet Callum, a young people's worker. My name's Callum, I'm the Youth and Engagement Officer for the MAD Project, which is making a difference. We work in Stockfield and you'll hear about the work we're doing soon. Also, Emma and Daphne from Building Communities Together. Hi, my name's Emma Payne. I work for Birmingham Playcare Network and the Scrap Store. We collect clean business waste and upcycle it for arts and crafts projects and run play activities in Birmingham. We're part of the Building Communities Together project and you'll hear much more about what we do in future episodes. Hello, my name's Daphne and I work with Stockfield Community Association. I'm here on Cedars Avenue outside Stockfield Park and you'll be hearing more about the work that we do in the coming episodes. And we'll be getting a little bit more craft from Kelly. poetry is about karma and uh, it's really touched my heart because uh, uh, sometimes somebody came with love and attention and other body is busy but the tables are turned now so the other partner is busy I would say this in Urdu Barsega toot toot kar abre mohabbata hum cheekhte rahenge ke hajat nahi rahi ek roz koi aega lekar ke fursate Thank you, Banu. Well, I hope you enjoyed our first show. Get in touch and let us know what you think about it. And so, to play us out, we have some local musicians. Hope to see you next time. Bye. If education is the key, a new change of luck, booted out by the landlord, up the rent you can't afford, eviction note through the letterbox. If education is the key, a new change of locks. Breach the agreement, tenant eviction, not welcome no more, not getting a foot in the door, no access, judged by Osiris, like judging by the colour of the iris. Because just how we see the world, our interpretation. Imagine that situation. We can't take on any more students with brown eyes, promise to leave none behind, but some don't even make it to the starting line. Hidden disabilities, secrets, like superhero identities, can't take off the mask or the cape, it's a genetic trait, saying by day or by night, didn't need a radioactive spider bite, lose our temper like Bruce Banner, have our fair share of kryptonite. Invisible disabilities, no one notice, vanishing, disappearing like Griffin, hocus pocus, a classroom is where minds should thrive, not try to survive. Can't keep up with the mainstream current, brain in overload, heading for the rapid stress, banging away on a desk like Morse code tapping. Joe, your spelling is appalling. Over a silent classroom, the teacher yells. Then words ring long after the final bell. The wound's still healing. When friends and family would be visiting, I'd leave books and magazines open to create the illusion I'd be reading. If you judge this book by its cover, make sure you read the about the author. Good luck trying to read my blurb My pages are blurred and my words are moving Trying to focus but they're bobbing and weaving Wholesale learning, one size fits all 
box ticking, lock picking. I believe in equal opportunity when they hand out the skeleton key. They got numbers to crunch and figures to squeeze. They gotta subtract the additional needs. And I'm aware money don't grow on trees, but some people own acres and when they make it private land. That's just like forest devastation. Sharpening the axe, making cuts like lumberjacks. The chancellor said austerity is over, but we're still eating from the same leftovers. Been shaken by the aftershock. If education is the key, then you change the locks. Let the gavels bang, a child's future's what we demand. Make some noise, more than a claim for money. Spin the lyrics of the Beastie Boys. You, you gotta, gotta fight, fight for your right, right to study. study. Architects of the future, removing parts like Jenga. Make sure there's a strong structure before you build, and not after it crumbles and you're left with rubble. Dismantling the building blocks. If education's the key, the new change the locks.